Okay, uh, today we're going to talk about the problem on iPhone 7 Audio IC and iPhone 7 Plus Audio IC and the Aero 4013, the 4013 that a lot of people have that has uh, when you are trying to power up your phone you just will do a boot loop this is the main chip that caused that problem boot looping right here this is called the audio IC you can buy this one for about six dollars seven maybe five dollars so this audio IC we need to replace it or do a reball a lot of the times I don't like to do reball because that we never know what happened to that audio IC and then we do a bridge to that tiny little resistor over there so if we do a bridge to this uh, we do a jumper from here to the main ball over there and I'm going to show you another board that I have over here this one over here I use it to this is a donor board when uh, when you have an audio IC problem, this pad over here is called the C12 pad. So if because that pad is sometimes loose or is, ha uh, is not doing a proper contact, but also you're gonna have sometimes a problem of not just the audio IC, you're gonna have a problem of the Aero 4013, which is this one over here. Let's see. Okay, so you can see this Aero 4013. This one is a microchip made by Qualcomm, but we also have another microchip for another model of phone that is made for uh, from Intel. So Qualcomm provides this chip, but it's maybe a pad that is loose underneath that microchip so we just replace that microchip and that will take care of that problem error 4013 so in that when you try to update to iTunes you're not going to be able to do it because you have a problem with that microchip uh, there is a lot of services out there that you are fixing that error 4013 iPad rehab is uh, doing that service for how much $200 uh, I believe uh, I don't know how much uh, Louis Rosman does, but I know there's you know, TLC, 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 someone, uh, Jason. Uh, I don't know how much he charged, but uh, they all often charge between $135 and $200. So we charge $135 to replace that microchip, and we charge $85 to replace audio IC with a C jumper, and this one, this one will fix the problem. And it's very simple, so we're going to remove that audio I see on this donor board that I have over here. And let's see. And it's, if you already remove microchips on other devices, you, you already know this uh, microchip here is uh, on iPhone 7. The type of solder they use is very strong solder. So it's, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to remove that one over there. And I'm going to use a temperature of 420. And it's still going to take some time. 420 and airflow of 50 because I have a bigger nozzle. And we're going to add. And I'm going to explain you where is the problem, okay? So I want you to be aware of what's causing the problem on this iPhone so we're going to add flux once it's hot and whatever you know uh, when you add flux in it oh, that's going to create very stinky can you turn my fan on it's going to get very stinky because so this is a very easy job okay it's if you haven't done it's going to be a little bit complicated but if you've done it before this one is a very easy so I have a big nozzle here and I'm blowing hot air so 
so as you guys see is I'm using a right now I'm going to use the other lens on this microscope because I want you to be aware of which parts I'm talking about if you remove one of those parts like I borrow this part the one over here to use in another phone and I may be going to need this one for somebody else's phones because sometimes they blow up as well and that's going to cause no audio as well so So if you notice, I removed that chip just like that, and now you're going. I'm going to show you with it. That microchip over here. Some people revolve this microchip, and I'm going to show you why I don't do it. Okay. So we're going to need that will take care of the audio I see, and we have another microchip over here that will take care. This one is a Intel because Qualcomm. I have a Qualcomm somewhere over here. I'm pretty sure it's this one here. Um, let me see. Yep, this one is a Qualcomm IC. This one is for... I remove a lot of audio IC, sometimes three a day. So, so from people who send it from all over the, the country because this is a big problem that Apple has with a defective iPhone 7, Apple is because they are the manufacturer, it's not because Qualcomm is doing the problem, it's Apple, they are, they not designing a very good device. Apple is becoming like the 4 of the 80s, fix or repair daily. So, Qualcomm, Intel. So, Qualcomm is a bigger microchip, Intel is a smaller microchip, so, that's the difference, but it's the same and it fixes the same problem this power control management RF PMI BBPM baseband so if we remove that one I'm going to change the lens on my microscope because I want to show you sorry guys so we're going to change the lens on the microscope because I want to show you I want to take a look at it what I'm going to be looking at we're going to maximize the view of this. Uh, let's see, I think it's this way. Okay. All right. So that's where the other microchip, so the audio microchip. And we have a needle right here. I'm going to remove these cutters. All right. The reason why I put the cutters is because I don't, those, those are my heat shields. They are, okay, there it is. So we need to create a jumper from here you can see this pad over here from here to here so once you get it hot and all you have to do is let's see can you see it yes you can see it okay let's see sorry because the image is so big so once you start moving very little so you remove that we have polite flux And we remove all this old solder and we're going to replace it with new solder. Some of these balls, you can see they are coming off. They have no use in the device other than they're just holding it together, but apparently it's not doing a very good job. I believe it's the type of solder that Apple start using, their manufacturers start using to to make a better, a stronger joint, but uh, they have like too many cold, cold joints, cold solder joints that is causing this problem. So, oh, and yes, if you can see, when I was removing all this one, this one is as useless, but this one, this one is the main problem. And you see, only by removing them, this is so weak that it came off instantly you see there is nothing there so that is a perfect sample that i want to give you so now what we have to do is create a jumper which is very simple to do a jumper on this device here so we're going to create a jumper from that resistor to get everything back rolling again okay 
so okay huh okay so we're gonna create a jumper oh, sorry guys there is some loud place over here so we're gonna create a tiny little jumper over here that way we can get something is I think my microscope is here it has something okay so this is the main resistor here in the middle that we have to have and create that jumper right here the reason why I put it from here is because I want to have a a good connection okay something guys I got oh sorry I was looking for my the right tweezers Okay, the reason why I do it like this is because if I do it like this, I have a stability on my joint over here. Okay, and this. Okay, so we have a very good, a strong, and we're going to cut it, uh, we're going to grab a little knife. A very a small sorry guys I'm gonna move here I'm sorry if it's gonna look blurry and that okay so you see here I'm going to do a tiny little this you can feel that you know the reason why this one came off is because this Manufacturers didn't apply the temperature or the right. And this one is causing a lot of problems to people. They are losing data. Some people, they don't know they can fix it. Some people, they are losing data. They are losing a lot of contacts, information that a device is everything. And sad thing that Apple has too much power. I mean, Apple is becoming one of the most powerful companies and and I believe it's one of the richest company in the nation that is they are they manipulate the system they create legislations they create they have the power they they say what's going to happen nobody else but them so now I I was talking with a firm of lawyers in in Seattle and we are trying to come out with a good idea and I mean you need money to as well to do it how we can sue Apple and make them accountable for what they manufacture I understand it's small but still if they have the risk if they have the money to make it small they have to make it good as well every one of them because this one came off I understand this one came off because they have nothing attached to it but this one came off just by applying heat on it and removing everything that is not fair because that is money is coming out of your wallet and, and and every customer every person every consumer who have these devices are losing a lot of information so you guys want to repair your phone you can send it to me I will be happy to help you and that's it now we have a we have a, a jumper from this side to this other side and okay let's let me Let me add more solder on this side. So if we have a uh, one jumper from here to here, 
so if you guys have a uh, device that is not powering on there is a lot of companies out there very good companies like uh, Jesse John has a I believe Jesse John has a big team of people who do this and she's very knowledgeable as well. I mean like the team that she uses very good people so we buy parts from them as well because they are taking the the chance of buying them from China and that's it so after that we're just going to okay after that we're just going to uh, add a we add a chemical that is going to help it's like it's to uh, have that everything in place oh I'm going to implement this one out of here so I'm going to cut it to here okay so and most of the time I don't even add the chemical I just put it just like that but at this time I'm going to you see now this uh, my cable here which I don't see oh here it is sorry guys I'm 45 years old so I believe I'm one of the oldest people in this room fixing phones so oh here it is so but there is no excuses for the age of not doing it so so now since we have this one doing fully contact so now we have the we're gonna we're gonna clean it that way you guys can take a better look at it most of the time I never uh, I do sometimes I do up to four jumps first over here because when I notice that the the pads are kind of loose wiggling so I go ahead and, ma and make sure I do the jumpers one day I did a jumper to a place that it wasn't working the phone wasn't working I removed it and it wasn't working and and I did a jumper to something that hurt it was these two over here they was like moving around so we create a tiny little thing underneath those pad and I did the jumper so right now as you see here's my cable I mean my jumper my wire and sometimes this one is loose sometimes you can touch it and you can feel it is loose sometimes this one is loose but uh, or this one even or that one here so we have to check and test if they not moving around so and then that's it we just apply flux and we apply a little tiny little chemical over here that's help like glue to stay on and that's it so guys if you have a problem with a iPhone 7 uh, no audio that's the one we're gonna need to fix that problem and if you have a problem with a iPhone 7 and that's my wire the one I use I don't buy wires it's expensive and also I have something else I people don't know and I'm not gonna say so that I use as well so this one here is the Intel that will fix uh, searching issues or the Aero 4013 so if you guys want to uh, you have a problem you want to get it fixed uh, you can always send it to us and we will be happy to help you and this is our donor board that I use a lot of parts from this phone got quite a few of them have another one that's this one is a donor board we're going to use for this part here is going to be removed so thank you guys i hope you have a beautiful day life is only once enjoy it. so thank you and we're going to end up this video